I am Allison Cusick and I'm a graduate student at Scripps Institution of Oceanography in the lab of Dr. Maria Vernet. I am studying phytoplankton or single-celled organisms in the ocean. A red tide is a phenomena that happens where the ocean turns this reddish color and so when the tide breaks on the coast it looks red and this is actually because of a microscopic algae or phytoplankton that lives in the ocean that is reddish in color so when it grows in large numbers it colors the ocean. One of the cool things about uh, this red tide here in San Diego is that it is bioluminescent so you might have seen at night the waves when they're crashing glow this neon electric blue. That is actually light being produced from individual single cell organisms. So these phytoplankton within their cell have a chemical reaction going on. When they get agitated, it's a reaction between luciferin and luciferase, and when they react, you get a flash of light. And that light, amplified by the millions and millions of phytoplankton in the ocean right now, is what's causing the waves to blow. These, these phytoplankton here aren't producing toxins that are hazardous to human health, but they are releasing a lot of other compounds, organic solvents, um, that can be aerosolized or uh, put up into the air when the waves are breaking. So some people are sensitive to this. You might also notice it smells kind of bad. So you might have seen too, there was a bunch of foam that's starting to accumulate on the beach. This is actually from the breakdown of the algae that's in the water. Some marine life could be affected by this bloom. For instance, smaller fish that use their eyes to hunt might not be able to see as well when it's this thick of a bloom. Some people have witnessed uh, large amounts of fish that might be dying off and wondering if it's linked to this red tide. And that's something that researchers at Scripps are studying. So scientists don't know how long these red tides or the bioluminescing magic show will last. So if you're able to get out and experience it, I hope you enjoy it. And also remember to just practice safe social distancing, six feet, and wear your mouth filler.